Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for the Karmic. Um, this is the Karmic's weekly reading for this week. So, um, keep in mind that the Karmic may or may not be your Karmic. Um, the Karmic could also be a male or a female. And again, the Karmic may or may not be your Karmic. So, also keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid. So this reading can manifest this week. It can manifest later on down the line in time. Or this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. All right, so for the collective that's going to watch this video, stumble across this video, and you're not the karmic, or you're not a karmic, I heard um, to say, let's see what's going on with your karmic. Let's see what's going on with your karmic this week. <clears throat> so, um, collective, we're going to see what's going on with your karmic. And also keep in mind that the karmic may have, this car, the karmic energy or the karmic may or may not be your karmic. Um, yeah. And you don't have to be, just because the, the karmic may, may or may not be your karmic, that doesn't mean you're the karmic. So keep that in mind as well. Um, so I did get messages um, during the pre-shuffle. And the messages that I got was somebody's name is Sarah. So collective, your name could be Sarah. The karmic name could be Sarah. Something's going on with somebody's brother, guns, money, and envy. And maybe somebody should um, pray or be go in prayer this week or somebody's going to be in prayer this week or somebody should pray oh and shelter something going on with shelter i don't know if somebody could be looking for shelter the karmic could be looking for shelter or somebody's in need of shelter because of the karmic so something going on with shelter um so let me get into the reading so for the display cards, I'm going to pull the karmic, the same thing I did for the other readings. I did Earth Angels, Divine Feminine, and Divine Masculine week, weekly reading. I'm going to do the same thing for the karmic. So I'm going to pull the karmic a positive affirmation for this week. I'm going to pull the karmic, their oracle from this deck. And I'm going to also pull, we're going to see what positive um, trait the karmic is going to be given. And I'm going to see a positive trait or attribute someone's going to be, the karmic is going to be receiving from a person or people this week. So, and um, Spirit just told me to say, today is Tuesday, May the 9th, today is Tuesday. All right. So, something could be going on with the karmic after dark hours this week. Between 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. Because I usually don't say, like, the date. I usually don't clarify the date during, like, regular readings. The only time I clarify the uh, the date is when I'm doing an after dark reading, for the most part. What time is it? I got to see what time it is. No, it ain't after dark hours. It's not after dark hours. Yeah, something significant could be going on with the karmic after dark hours. Sometime, sometime this week. All right, what's the karmic's positive affirmation for this week? For the karmic. I'm hearing somebody, the feel of the energy and the feel of the cards. The karmic could be getting shunned this week. People could be shunning the karmic. People could be ashamed of the karmic. Don't want to talk to the karmic. The karmic is getting shunned a little bit. All right. So it say, if I were to lose everything I have, what would I miss? Oh, see, I didn't even realize that. The karmic might lose a lot of friends this week or something. Or the karmic is going to lose somebody's trust or lose a lot of friends. If I were to lose everything I have, what would I miss? 
I will make time for the things that matter and give less time to the things I wouldn't even miss. All right. So this is the karmic's positive affirmation. So the karmic could have been taking life for granted or taking people for granted. Yeah. And maybe somebody might walk away from the karmic. The karmic could have been like, um, the karmic could have had their, their priorities mixed up. The karmic wasn't rightfully prioritizing. So this could be the karmic's kids walking away from the karmic, the karmic's parents. Um, yeah. The karmic wasn't given their attention to in the past. I don't know what choice the karmic is going to make this week. But in the past, the karmic wasn't given their attention to the people that they should have been. And the karmic might realize it this week. <clears throat> yeah, so that's the karmic's positive affirmation. Or the karmic is getting warnings this week that if they're not careful, they're going to lose somebody that they really need. Or something. Yeah, the fates. Yeah. Yeah, so the karmic should be, the karmic is going to get warnings this week. Like a warning. That somebody is getting fed up with the karmic. What's the karmic's oracle? What's the karmic's oracle overall energy? The karmic could have also been doing spell work or dark magic. That might get stuck. It might get stuck. Yeah, the karmic had their, their priorities messed up. So we got yang and poised. The karmic could be very conceited or very overly confident or very prideful. All right. What's the karmic's overall energy? If the karmic could be a man, if the karmic is a female, she's in her masculine energy this week. What's the karmic's oracle? For the karmic energy, I am going to take it as if it come out reversed. I'm going to take it. What's the karmic's... um? Yeah, chop wood. Yeah, came out in reverse. I'm going to take it, yeah. So number 42 for the karmic, chop wood. Come to the edge. So I'm going to still read it in the upright. So the karmic is not being intuitive this week as well. Number 42. The karmic not being intuitive. The karmic could be being hard-headed. About something. I'm hearing the karmic could be doing something very risky. So chop wood. The essential meaning is being grounded. So the karmic is not grounded. Being grounded in everyday experience. Humility. Yeah. The karmic is not being humble. The karmic is not grounded. The karmic could be doing something too early. The karmic could be, yeah, the karmic playing with spell work. Or the karmic is trying to force divine timing. So the karmic could also be lying, be telling lies. Because they're trying to force divine timing. It say there are times when the big dream is meant to lie dormant in your consciousness. So that you can pay attention to the simple chores in your life. Consider why pruning a tree is the forerunner of the lighting and the beautiful bl blooms when it is in full blossom. The mundane act of pulling off their leaves, watering the soil, and then leaving it to be to let nature take its course is an important step in, manif in manifestation. Taking your attention away from your goal brings you into a state of receptivity. This is the deeper purpose for releasing attachment. When you engage in everyday tasks in a meditative, contemplative way, you clear your energy to receive your aha moments, which bring you even closer to what you seek. Okay, so the karmic is not being wise. The karmic could be overworking. The karmic could be being very dogmatic. It's like the karmic is like... <sighs> The karmic could be chasing waterfalls. 
It say the mundane act of pulling off dead leaves, watering the soil, and then leaving it to, to let nature take its course is an important step in manifestation. So the karmic don't want to like, the karmic could be doing spell work or dark magic. I heard the karmic is not put in, in natural work or normal work. The karma could be being impatient, yeah. Yeah, the karma doing something wrong. The karma got something backwards. They're doing something wrong. It's like the saying go. You got to crawl before you walk. And the karma is not humble enough to accept that. They just want to, the karma don't want to crawl before they walk. Whatever this is, the karma don't want to crawl before they walk. The karmic just want to jump into something or something like that. And the karmic could be doing spell work or something or dark magic. All right. What positive attribute is the karmic going to be giving this week? This karmic could be very prideful. Very prideful. The karmic could be a Gemini or dealing with a Gemini or this karmic got Gemini in a birth chart. What positive attribute is the karmic giving this week? So for some of the karmics, they're in the energy of teamwork. And I forgot what the other card says. The karmic could be an Aquarius as well, dealing with an Aquarius or got Aquarius in the birth chart. So we have breathing. The karmic could be given birth too as well. The karmic could be given birth. It say I become calmer and more relaxed with each breath. With with my breathing, I take control of my consciousness. So this karmic be doing too much. This karmic could be a people pleaser. This karmic is the type of gene type of energy that's all about image. This is the type of person that will work themselves to death to prove a point. To showboat or something like that. So the a positive attri attribute or um, trait the karmic is going to display is breathing. <clears throat> the karmic is going to become calmer and more relaxed which, with each breath. The karmic could also be trying to rush some type of healing and they should take their time. So this could be some sort of healing. With the karmic's breathing, the karmic is going to take control of their consciousness. So I don't know if this karmic could have been being suicidal. The karmic could have been being like suicidal. And the karmic might not, the karmic might decide not to call, might not. The karmic might decide not to do it at all or this week. The karmic might hold off on like kill, killing themselves, some type of suicide or something. Somebody might say to the karmic, don't do it, karmic. No. So it's like somebody wants the karmic alive. Somebody wants the karmic breathing or something like that. Mm. Then we got bitterness. Yeah, the karmic pissed off about something. All right. What positive attribute is the karmic going to be receiving? I heard it's a whole bunch of karmics. It's like a whole, I heard it's a whole bunch of karmics. And one of the, one of the karmics could be trying to kill themselves. And the other karmic saying no karmic. Yeah. So somebody wants wants this karmic. Uh, well, of course, um, somebody wants this karmic uh, like to live. Don't do that. Like something like that. This can also be the karmic could be saying. The karmic could be facing jail time, and the karmic could be like on suicide watch because they're facing jail time or something. All right, what positive attribute is the karmic going to be? Uh, Receiving from a from a, a person or other people. 
So these karmas could have been gang stalking somebody. And they might experience a tower moment this week. And then this karmic that's on this board, that's in this breathing energy, it's like this karmic gonna try to hurt themselves. Because of, it could be because of embarrassment. This karmic is like embarrassed or something. They could have been gang stalking somebody. And I heard they're gonna experience a tower moment, all of them. So spirit is telling me to say these, this is karmic energy. So the karmic receiving this positive energy is coming from other karmic. So we have all. <sighs> yeah. So I heard karmics encouraging karmics. It say, I am always open to awe and wonder in everyday life. I do not take the splendor of the world for granted. Yeah. So karmics encouraging karmics. So this is um positive um energy the karmic is going to be receiving. Somebody is in awe and wonder about everyday life. And somebody is saying, Karmic, you should be too. Karmic, you should be in awe and wonder in everyday life. Or somebody's telling the karmic to be thankful for life. This person is not taking the splendor of the world for granted. So this karmic is also telling the karmic to accept something. So the karmic was trying to cause... This, this, these karmics was um, doing something to somebody. And they're going to get defeated or embarrassed this week. And this karmic is trying to tell the other karmic to just accept it that they lost. Or something didn't work out as they planned. And this karmic right here don't want to accept it. Yeah. So I'm going to give an example. It's like, I'm going to give it a, a simple 3D example of what's going on. Collective said like you a man, you could be a divine masculine. And this karmic was competing with you. It's like collective, you had a Honda, the karmic had a Honda. You went and bought a BMW. The karmic went and bought a BMW. But it was better than your BMW. It's like collective. This week you're going to go and buy like. A car that's better than a BMW. And the karmic don't have enough money. To like outdo your newer car. That you're going to get today. And it's like this karmic like. Is going to like have a meltdown. Or a nervous breakdown or something. And this karmic right here is just telling the karmic, like, damn karmic, it's only a car. Like, don't lose your life over a car. They got a better car than you, so what? Or don't try to take nobody's life over a car because this person got a better car than you. Like, something like that. This karmic could be very prideful, very competitive. A sore loser or something like that. It's like this karmic going to break their neck. It's like this karmic could be in competition with another man. And his wife about to divorce him. And it's like karmic. It's like this karmic need to prioritize something. Something that's not even relevant. Something that's irrelevant. Or something that's very childish. It's like this karmic going to lose everything. Because they was like. Because they're very prideful. This karmic might lose their wife. Their wife might divorce them. The wife might leave or something like that. Because the karmic was focused on the wrong stuff. Or something like that. So, let me do a, a quick love portion for this karmic. What can the karmic expect in love and romance this week? Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. Yeah. There's a need for the karmic to be patient about something. Or the karmic could be competing for somebody's affection. So the karmic could be in some type of competition. This karmic could also be married already. And still competing for another woman. Like something like that. But there's a need for patience in the karmic's uh, love and romance. Everything will unfold in divine timing. 
I also heard somebody say, I just want to know. So the karmic could be trying to force someone to tell them the truth. So it could be a third party situation of love. And the karmic is trying to catch someone cheating. Or the karmic is trying to get their lover. Tell me, you cheating on me? You cheating on me? Who you cheating on me with? It's like the karmic don't want to be patient or something like that. Or this karmic is competing for a lover or something like that. All right. So what's the karmic's lover hidden truth? What's the karmic's lover hidden truth? I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Yeah. Yeah. The karmic, somebody could have outgrown the karmic. <clears throat> This could be the car. The karmic could have been dating a divine feminine or a divine masculine. So somebody could be breaking up with the karmic. Because this person is saying, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. So the karmic's energy to this lover has served its purpose. And this lover could be getting ready to leave the karmic. So that's what the karmic probably want to know. The karmic probably like, oh, you still love me? You leaving? And this person is learning the hard way. This person has learned their lesson. Yeah. So that's the karmic's lover hidden truth. This The karmic's lover is ready to leave the karmic if not already. Because this person done already. Uh, it's like the karmic cycle is over. This karmic, this lover has learned their lesson. Yeah. What's the karmic's hidden truth? Yeah, somebody ready to leave this karmic this week. I want to be more than friends. Okay. Yeah. So that's the karmic said in truth. So this lover could have already left the karmic. And maybe this lover didn't tell the karmic why. Or something. So the karmic wants to reconcile with someone. Or the karmic wanted somebody to cheat. But the karmic probably wanted to be somebody's third party. So the karmic's lover used to mess around with the karmic in the past and got caught. Or the karmic wants to be somebody's third party. And this lover could be saying, I I'm karmic. Last time me and you was messing around, I got caught. Thanks, but no thanks. Or the karmic is coming on to someone. And the, it's like this person is realizing that the karmic is a karmic. So this could be the karmic. This could be the, the, the karmic's best friend's lover. So the karmic could be coming on, flirt, coming on to someone that they're not supposed to. And this person is saying, okay, karmic, I know who you are now. You're a karmic. You grimy. You low. Yeah. The karmic wants to be somebody's third party. This lover's third party. Or the karmic used to mess around with this lover. And this lover don't, yeah. So the karmic want to be more than friends. That's the karmic's lover hidden. That's the karmic's hidden truth. Or this is the karmic's ex. So the karmic could be doing come to me spells. Yeah, the karmic could be doing come to me spells. All right. The karmic could be having a baby this week too. And this lover, the karmic's lover broke things off with the karmic. And the karmic is saying, I want to be more than friends. So the karmic could be the third party and the karmic's lover could be married or something. <coughs> or the karmic wants to know. The karmic... <coughs> The karmic wants to know why this lover doesn't want them or why this lover broke up with the karmic. So somebody not telling this karmic something. And they keep, they want to know why. 
or something. This karmic keep asking somebody. So the karmic could be trying to force somebody to tell them the truth. The karmic could be even... Do the karmic is trying to get somebody in a bedroom. Or the karmic is forcing this lover to tell them the truth about something. And the karmic could be doing spell work too to get somebody to tell the truth. Or the karmic trying to get somebody high or something. To get sex from them or something. I heard the karmic wants somebody to stay the night at their house or to stay over. Overnight. And for some of these karmics, the karmic gonna get their lover high. If the karmic is a man, he might give this woman like a date rape drug or something. But if this karmic is a female, she want this man to like stay the night and she might give this man high or something. <clears throat> or something like that. So the cards are saying karmic, everything will, will unfold in divine timing. You don't have to do a death ritual. You don't have to do spell work. You don't have to do that. Be patient, Carmen. All right. What's obvious about the Carmen's lover? I understand you better now. Yeah. Somebody's seeing the Carmen for who they are. But I'm hearing this person want no parts of the Carmen. This person could be a little bit scared of the Carmen. This person is not rowdy. They're very calm. It's like if this karmic is a pathological liar, the karmic's lover learned it the hard way. And this person just be like, okay, karmic. All right. All right, karmic. Like something like that. The karmic could also be dating another karmic too. What's obvious about the karmic? I couldn't tell you face to face. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So the karmic could have lied to someone. Or the karmic is in love with someone. Or the karmic is lusting after someone. And it's like this karmic could do anything to get this lover in their energy. Or to get this lover in the bedroom. Or to get this lover to tell them some type of truth. And the karmic, that's obvious about the karmic. So I'm also picking up, for some of these karmics, this karmic is flirting with somebody. This karmic reached out to someone. They're flirting with this person, but the karmic won't tell this person who they are. It's like the karmic won't give up their identity. So this karmic is flirting with somebody they're not supposed to. And somebody's saying, karmic, what do you want? Or the karmic did something to somebody. The karmic could even be like playing a game with this person. It's like the karmic be paying this. Say like the karmic paid this person phone bill. And this person went to pay their phone bill. And, and this person like, wow, who paid my phone bill? And then the karmic called this person anonymous and say, I love you. It was me. And then this person be like, well, who are you? Who are you? And it's like this karmic hang up. <laughs> this karmic. <clears throat> this karmic can have mental health issues or something. Mm. Oh, sexuality at the bottom of the deck. So the karmic could be gay or lesbian. And the karmic could be coming on to someone that's heterosexual. But it's like they're not showing their identity. The karmic is just, is just like calling somebody phone or something. Or this karmic be leaving somebody flowers. But it's like somebody that's heterosexual don't. This, this karmic is. This karmic could be um gay, lesbian, or bisexual. And the karmic is in love with someone who's heterosexual or something like that. Okay. What's going on with this karmic? They want to be more than friends, but couldn't tell this person face to face.
a liar. Be careful of someone sneaky. Yeah, so this karmic is a liar. This karmic being sneaky. That's what I just said. This karmic be like calling somebody anonymous or putting flowers or notes on somebody's car or their house door or something. Then this karmic run off or something like that. Yeah, this karmic lying about something. Yeah, this karmic being sneaky. So this, the karmic's lover is either married or the karmic is married. So the karmic could also want to have an affair with someone. But it's like the karmic married. Or the karmic want to have an affair with somebody they ain't supposed to be sleeping with. It could be their, it could be um, a family member's lover. One of the karmic's family member lovers or something like that. What's going on with the karmic's lover? Or the karmic want to know if this person is a liar, if this person is sneaky, or would this person sleep with the karmic? The karmic want to know if somebody is a liar. So somebody in public say, I love my lover. I love so-and-so. I will never cheat on so-and-so. So the karmic is playing with this lover to see if they are who they say they are. Oh, the karmic wanted to prove a point. Okay, that's another scenario. All right. All right. So this karmic is basically trying to seduce someone. All right. What's going on with the karmic's lover? They're grateful for the spiritual lesson. And they understand the karmic now. Caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. Yeah. So the karmic is very uh, foolish. And whoever this lover is that the karmic is, like, infatuated with, this person is not like the karmic. It's like they're total opposite of the karmic. This person is very cautious. It's like this karmic sloppy, but this person is not. It's like the karmic cheat and always get caught, but the karmic's lover, if they cheat, they don't get caught. So this person, like, I'm not creeping around with you. Somebody's very cautious. Yeah. Or the karmic should be careful. If this is like, um, if the karmic is a part of the LGBTQ community, the karmic could be trying to flirt with somebody that's heterosexual. And the karmic need to be cautious of this person. Or this, or the karmic's lover could go both ways or something. Or the karmic's lover is on the DL. Something like that going on with sexuality. This comment should be careful. Or something like that. All right. Yeah, for some a scenario is the comments love the comments lover it could be on the DL. And the comment could be like openly gay. Or openly uh, lesbian. But the karmic's lover is not. Or something like that. Yep. Alright. Give me some messages for the karmic. Okay, unprofessional in reverse, 3D in reverse. Demons. So somebody's not unprofessional. This is more than the 3D. This could be 5D. So somebody's professional, but something is probably not obvious. Somebody's very professional with some demons or something. Or somebody's professionally demonic. Or something. Let's see what that boy is. Somebody could have an entity attachment too. Unprofessional in reverse with demons. Somebody could have an entity attachment. Somebody could have a sex demon on them. Or this karmic is... um. Gay or something. 
or something like that. Yeah, somebody can have entity attachments or demon attachments, but it's or some type of succubus spirit. So this karmic could be conjuring up like sex demons or something. Or something like that. You need to stop. Yeah. So the karmic need to stop doing something. The karmic is like something is not 3D. This could be like lower than 3D or this is like something of the 5D. So the karmic could be underestimating something. A demon or something. So, Collective, if you're not the karmic, you probably need to stop playing around with this karmic. Collective, the karmic could be playing with you. And it's like, you might have to say to the karmic, look, you either going to tell me who you is, stop with the bull crap. Don't keep calling my phone anonymous and leaving flowers on my porch. Like, something like that. So, Collective, you probably need to stop playing around with this karmic. Or don't allow this karmic to play with you. Because something could be wrong with this karmic. Or this karmic need to stop. Because something is something is not as it appear. And there's demons involved. It's like some, somebody is a professional. It's like something is really not right. It's professional, but it ain't right. And it's got something to do with demons. Like this is not right. Or you know, something is not normal. That's it's like something is going on is not normal. Or something like that. So somebody need to stop. Collective if you was like, especially if you a man, if you was dibbling and dabbling, sleeping with men, I think you need to stop. One of your lovers could have a demon on them or something. Or um, <clears throat> somebody got like a succubus spirit. Do that? Is that what you call it? A succubus spirit? Yeah. Or somebody's doing spell work and they think it's not working and it is. So somebody needs to stop. Like somebody thinks something is like 3D. But it's more to it than that. So somebody could be playing around with spell work just to see if it's going to work. And this person needs to stop because it's working. And somebody could be trying to conjure up a demon or something. Somebody could be playing around just to see it, just to try it out, to see if something going to work. So, it's some professional demons. And this is not, like, funny. This is not right. This is not normal. This is not 3D. Somebody thinks something 3D, but it's not. And somebody needs to stop. Or something like that. So, um, collective, you probably need to stay away from this karmic. Disassociate from, your, from this karmic. Or this karmic need to stop this. Whatever this is. All right, what's going on with... Oh. <sighs> what's going on with um, unprofessional in reverse? A narcissist, yeah. Yeah, some, something or somebody is not all that it appears to be. It's not all that they are, it or they appears to be. Someone is too full of themselves. So this karmic is like a professional at something. Or they appear to be very uh, sophisticated. But something going on with some demons or something. This karmic could be schizophrenic. This karmic could be a beautiful liar. Or something like that. This karmic look nice on the outside. It's like this karmic wears suits and ties. Nice dresses, always got their hair done, nails done, smell good. But it's like this karmic could be schizophrenic or 
this karmic conjure up demons or something, or this karmic got a sex, a, a succubus or sex demon or something on them. Someone is too full of themselves, yeah. A professional is a narcissist. Yeah. Gambling. Problems with addiction or gambling, bad finances. All right, so I had to pause the video, yeah. This karmic either has gambling problems, addictions, or this karmic go only looks for vi their victims have gam gambling problems or addictions. So it's like this karmic could be a professional and they look for people that's like beneath them. People that like sit around and have sex all day. I heard a sex slave. Problems with addictions or gambling, bad finances, someone else, yeah. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. <clears throat> so, Collective, for some of y'all, I'm picking up your loved one or your lover is interacting with these karmics. It's one, for some of y'all, it's just one karmic. For other you guys, it's two karmics. And another group of y'all, it's a whole bunch of karmics. It's like, I don't know if these people is having orgies. It's like they have orgy parties. And collective, your lover or your loved one attends these orgy parties that this karmic give or these karmics be given. Or it's like collective, these karmics be having your loved one gamble or um, be stealing your lover money or something. It's like they all take turns doing it to your lover or your loved one. Or something like that. This is this is kind of like a mess. For some of y'all, it's a lot of people involved. And maybe this karmic is like the ringleader or something. I heard the karmic is getting hit the worst. So I don't know if this got something to do with a casino. Or... um. Gang stalking. This karmic is getting hit the worst. Because they was like the ringleader. And something is not working. Or something like that. <sighs> What's going on with 3D in reverse? What's going on with 3D in reverse? Communicate. Compromise, forgive, work it out. So, collective, for some of y'all, um, this karmic need to stop interacting with or communicating with these demons. Or it's like, collective, because this karmic is attached to some demons, you should only uh, interact with this karmic from a distance. Like, it's like collective, you shouldn't hang out with this karmic, but it's like you can pray for this karmic. But it's like you can communicate, but at a distance or something like that. Or there should be a, a third party involved or an interpreter. Something could also be going on with mediumship or um, something. And somebody need to be careful. Because somebody, this could even be a situation where this karmic could be calling on their ancestors. And it's not this karmic's ancestor. It's like a, a demon. It's demons. It's not the karmic's ancestor. And it's like... It's like collective. If this karmic is calling your phone, when this karmic call you, 
a demon is telling this karmic to call you. Or when you're talking to the karmic on the phone, it's the demon talking through the karmic. Or it's like this karmic's office or this karmic's home is so possessed that these demons be, be playing with the karmic phone. It's like this it's like they got through. So it's like these demons like make the karmic phone ring or um Somebody from the 5D is trying to communicate. Because somebody is a professional, but they're a narcissist. So, it's, I'm hearing somebody's trying to do something with dirty hands. Or somebody's trying to do, like, high-level work. But with a they, this person don't have a pure heart. So, this, the karmic could be trying to be a medium. But it's not working. The karmic is, like, talking to demons because the karmic is a narcissist. The karmic is trying to do like professional work, but because the karmic is a narcissist, the karmic is like talking to demons. It's, it's it's whatever this is, this karmic doing something to do with communication. It's like the karmic collective you or this karmic think they on the phone talking to somebody, but. <laughs> It's not the 3D. <laughs> it's not the 3D. So, collective, I don't know if you be on the phone talking to this karmic, and it's like this demon be talking to you through the karmic. Or th this karmic done conjured up something so, so demonic. It's like, it be calling the karmic phone. It calls the karmic. <laughs> Or something like that. I also heard telepathy. It's like collective. Yeah. It, 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 collective for some of y'all. This karmic. Could, mm, I don't know. I heard telepathy. What's going on with, these, with demons? Yes. Luck is on your side. Yeah. Oh, boy. So, collective, um, if if you're not the karmic and this karmic is trying to victimize you or these demons is using the karmic to victimize, victimize you, divine timing is going to step in. So, it's like, collective, if this karmic was trying to flirt with you, it's like you're going to tell the karmic no. It's like, collective, you're going to tell the karmic I'll pray for you. So, collective, the karmic could be calling you, asking you for sex. And you like sex. I pray for you. It's like, collective, communicate with this karmic, but from the 5D, not the 3D. So, yeah, somebody might say something like that. Like, I pray for you, but I'm not sleeping with you. Or something like that. Collective, something going on with this karmic. This karmic is a professional, but they are narcissists. And this could even be in the bedroom. I don't know what this is, but it's some demons here. And collective, luck is on your side. Because you might tell this karmic no. Or you're going to keep this karmic at a distance or something like that. Or you're not going to have sex with this karmic. What's going on with you need to stop? Or collective, you gonna tell the karmic no about sex, and you have a re a good reason to tell the karmic no. Collective, it's like you could be on the phone, or you're next to the karmic talking to the karmic, and it's like the karm. I'm giving this for example, but this is the energy. The karmic asking you for sex, you gonna say no. Collective, the karmic voice gonna change and say you need to stop. Collective, at that point, when the karmic said you need to stop, that was the 5D. That was some demons talking to you. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah. And this karmic is like the perfect host because they're a narcissist. So this karmic definitely have like an entity attachment or something. The karmic did this wolf willingly. Conjure up the succubus spirit. Or the karma got demons on them. Yep. 
And that's what I just heard. It's like this karmic is a professional demon. <laughs> or it's like collective don't judge a book by its cover. This karmic probably looks very nice. This karmic go to work. This karmic this. This karmic that. And this karmic could be asking you something collective. This karmic asking you something. And collective you might tell this karmic no. And collective this karmic going to say you need to stop. But that's not the karmic. That's them demons. Or this karmic telling you you should forgive them. That's not this karmic collective. That's them demons telling you to forgive this karmic or something like that. What's going on with you need to stop? Oh, so that's why the... Oh, yeah. Okay, that's making sense. And then we got Liar. Okay. So, Collective, this karmic is demon-possessed. Collective, if you tell the karmic no this week about anything, this could be sex, this could be money, this could be drugs. Collective, if you tell the karmic no, that demon gonna get to acting up. And then this karmic gonna try to go kill themselves. Because that's what that demon want the karmic to do. Okay. And it's like somebody telling the karmic, like, breathe, breathe, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, this karmic could be possessed. All right, what's going on with you need to stop? Yeah, love spell. Yep. Collective, for some of y'all, this karmic is your lover. Or collective, you're taken and the karmic is flirting with you. Or collective, you used to um, mess around with the karmic in the past and you stopped. And this karmic might call you this week. Yeah. You've been bewitched. Yeah. Yep. So this karmic need to stop. Before this entity take control of this karmic or collective, when this karmic call you, that's that entity talking to you, telling you, you need to stop. You gonna let me have sex with you. We having sex. Yeah, that's that demon. Yeah. Collective, you could be a fire sign or this karmic a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah. Yeah, so collective for some of y'all, especially if this is about sex, tell this karmic no. Collective, this karmic might also tell you today is your lucky day. Collective, this karmic might call you and say, ooh, today your lucky day. My lover not even at home. You want to come over? Or something like that. Collective, tell this karmic no. Or collective, this Karmic gonna call you and say, ooh, this week your lucky week. My boss not home. I mean, my boss not at work. So, you can come to my office and we can have sex while I'm at work or something. Collective, tell this karmic no. Collective, for some of y'all, this karmic is gonna also tell you. This karmic is gonna say this to you. You in luck. Today your lucky week. Today must be a good week for you or something. Is karmic. That's them demons talking collective. Don't listen to this karmic. Yeah, something like that. Collective, this karmic could be on drugs and you didn't know. This karmic could have a gambling problem. Um, Collective, I heard this karmic could have got these demons on them through sex at a casino or through drugs. Yeah, that's where the attachment happened at. For other of these karmics, um, these karmics be playing around with dark magic and they conjure. Yeah. So. Yeah, this karmic definitely a narcissist. Collective, if this karmic is, um, be careful if this karmic claiming to be a medium or something. Be careful, uh, uh, that's what I'm hearing. Be careful of people that's claiming to, of their spiritual gifts. Especially if they a medium. Because 
if this karmic is a medium, it's like they're still a narcissist. So it's like collective, it's like this karmic not even talking to your loved one. They're talking to, de to demons. Yeah. Because they're a narcissist. This karmic don't have a pure heart. Yeah, something like that. It's like collective, if your ancestor is of the light and the karmic is the medium and this karmic got a dirty heart, collective, your ancestor ain't, uh-uh, no, no. Mm -mm. This karmic ain't calling on, no, or something like that. This karmic is like a narcissist or something like that. Somebody claiming to be a medium. This karmic talk to demons. They this karmic ain't picking up on nobody ancestor. All right. All right. What's going on with the karmic? Is we what's going on with the karmic? The karmic's three of cups situation is going to come crumbling down. So the karmic wanted this three of cups, a reconciliation, a reconciliation, a third party situation in love, or some type of gossip the karmic was doing. The karmic going to experience a tower moment. So the karmic could be a water sign, maybe a Scorpio don't have to be. Or somebody got Scorpio on their chart or Pisces or Cancer. This karmic going to have a, a, a tower moment around their three of cups. So the karmic was trying to get this three of cups. Or the karmic already obtained this, obtained the three of cups and was trying to maintain the, the three of cups. So this could have been the karmic getting somebody's phone number. And the karmic wanted to go further. But it's like this person going to say, karmic, don't call me no more. Like something like that. Yeah, so the karmic was either trying to get their foot in the door or it's like the karmic got their foot in the door, but their plan is still not going to work or something like that. Yeah, this karmic going to have a sour moment this week around the three of cups situation. Or this karmic wanted to celebrate at the expense of somebody else and it's not going to happen. I also see the karmic in the past was doing a threesome with two men. This karmic ended up pregnant and don't know which one of these men impregnated her. And none of these men is um, claiming the baby. And this karmic is like trying to kill themselves or something. Yeah, something happened in the past. The karmic could have had a threesome to get money from these men. Or to get drugs from these men or something. The karmic can have a gambling problem. Or have addictions. Or the karmic loves sex. Or the karmic loves threesomes or something. So the karmic enjoyed that three of cups. But it's like. These men. It's like. She don't. It's something. This karmic don't know who impregnated her. And none of these men is claiming her child. So the karmic might have like a nervous breakdown or something. It's weak. Because of something. It's like these men was nice to the karmic. It's like everything was all good. Like to get her in the bedroom. But it's like when these men found out the karmic was pregnant. It's like this karmic can't believe it. It's like a tower moment. It's like these men act like they don't even know her. But they was nice to her at first. But that was to get her in the bedroom or something. Or these men use the karmic to get money from the karmic or to get drugs from the karmic or something like that. Yeah, so something that was nice and sweet and friendly 
in the past, it's a tower moment. Yeah, between the six of cups and the three of cups, it's a tower moment. So, collective, if you're not the karmic, and this is your lover, your lover had a threesome with this karmic. It's like, collective, this karmic was talking about you like a dog to your lover. Or your lover was talking about you to a, like a dog to this karmic. So, it's like, collective, the karmic assumed because they were sitting around talking about you and having threesomes and orgies. It's like, collective, this karmic never thought in a million years that your lover would disown her or her child or something like that. This karmic didn't think that. Yeah. Yeah, the two of cards. Yep. So if the karmic is a female, this man or these men might flip on the karmic. They're going to act like they don't even know this karmic. Yeah. And she, the karmic thought that this man or these men was cool with her. But it's like, that's a sour moment. Yeah. Yeah. And somebody stuck with this karmic for the next 18 years. It's somebody, baby. One of these men. Yeah. So somebody gonna have a towel moment. Somebody, one of these men think they just gonna walk away. Even if they don't take the paternity. One of these men is tied to this three of cups. Because that's his baby. Or something like that. So somebody thought they was gonna emotionally walk away or just get away with something. This karmic pregnant. And she might go into labor this week. Yeah, the high farm coming out sideways. Yep. Mm -hmm. So somebody could have been married and was cheating. Or somebody was sleeping with somebody they wasn't supposed to be sleeping with. Or doing something. Or somebody thought they was going to get away with something, and they not. Yep, somebody might get exposed. Somebody might go through a divorce. Somebody could be depressed. Somebody could have postpartum. Somebody might also um, have a miscarriage or get an abortion or something. Or this... Um, yeah, somebody might have a miscarriage or something. Or this karmic want an apology. This karmic ain't getting no apology. This karmic want an apology. This karmic, somebody is not, not apologetic. So, I don't know. Collective, for some of these karmics, they might call your lover and... And it's like this karmic going to say, you're not even sorry for what you did to me. And collective, your lover going to say no. And collective, that karmic going to be depressed. Yeah. Or this karmic going to be having a... I don't know what this is. I don't know. Um, collective, your lover could have been going up to the karmic's job. The, the your lover used to sleep with this karmic while they was at work so this karmic can have a very sophisticated job she can have an office or it's like collective this your lover used to go visit this karmic at work and they used to have sex at the karmic's job and collective maybe this week this karmic gonna call your lover and your lover gonna tell the karmic no or something like that this karmic got this karmic is not going to have a good week at work this week, or the karmic can have addictions, and somebody used to probably bring the drugs up to the karmic's job. It's like this karmic want to get high. Maybe the karmic's connect could be in jail, or not answering a phone, and this karmic gonna have a towel moment at work. 
because this karma want to get high and they can't. And the karma's co-worker is not even going to know what's wrong with the karma. This karma might have an outburst at work. It's like this karma really can't function without these drugs <clears throat> or something like that. So this karma might also lose their job or um, their em the, pe the, the karmic's employees or co-workers is going to grow very suspicious of the karmic. The karmic might have a tower moment at work. This somebody like throwing the computer across the room or this karmic going to have a temper tantrum at work or something because they want to get high. Or this karmic, it's like every day the karmic and, and their lover used to have sex every day at the karmic's job. So that's what the karmic is used to. Now somebody's saying, I ain't coming up to your job. And this karmic like going to have a meltdown or something at work. Or something like that. Yeah, some deep, this karmic could be young or early adult or this karmic just immature. It's like collective, your lover could have been lying to this karmic and talking about you. This, this Your lover could have been like, I can't stand divine feminine. I hate divine feminine. It's like collective, the karmic going to be like, wasn't you just um gossiping about divine feminine to me? And collective, your divine masculine gonna say, and yeah, so what? And or something. What's going on with the six of cups? Yeah, the king of wands. For some of these karmics, they might go through like some type of postpartum. This karmic probably also thought she was having a boy and it's going to be a girl. It's like the karmic going to have a tower moment, her water going to break. And then the karmic going to find out it's not a boy. It's a girl or something like that. I hope don't nobody have like a stillborn. I see that too. Somebody might have a stillborn or something like that. The karmic could have been sleeping with a married man. The king of wands. The karmic could have been sleeping with the king of wands. Or the king of wands probably only wanted sex from the karmic or something like that. Yeah, then we got the nine of wands. Yeah. Yeah. Or somebody somebody might also tell the karmic the truth. Like right is is the truth gonna make the karmic go in labor? It's like in the past the somebody was in a soulmate connection with the karmic, but this person was uncomfortable because this person could have been lying to the karmic, they was married. Yeah, somebody could have been very uncomfortable around the karmic. Because this man could have been lying to the karmic. This karmic could have been married. Okay. Then this man found out the karmic was pregnant. So now he like, uh-uh, karmic, you can't keep that baby because I'm married. I'm the king of wands. And then the karmic going to have to, somebody going to have to tell the karmic to breathe. Yeah, it's like the King of Wands going to tell the karmic, like, while she in labor or something, that he married or something, something crazy. And this King of Wands is not going to apologize or something like that. If the karmic is a man, he could be upset because somebody pregnant and it's not a boy, it's a girl. 
Yeah. What I just heard, these karmics are narcissists. Collective, if this karmic is a man, he's pissed off because the baby is a girl. He wanted a boy. Collective, the I heard the karmic might say this to somebody or the karmic is thinking this in their mind. Collective, this karmic is a grown-ass man or at least able to have kids. This karmic wanted a boy, but it's a girl. And this karmic goes, it's like the karmic is like the baby should apologize to me because it's not a girl. It's like the karmic is the baby's father, but he want the baby to apologize for not being a boy. This karmic, these karmics is crazy collective. Collective, if y'all have kids by these karmics, be careful. It's like the karmic want an apology from his daughter for not being a boy. Or something like that. These karmics crazy. If the karmic is a female, the karmic could be a fire sign. Don't have to be. If the karmic is like a female... This comment might have a stillborn. <laughs> or it's like this comment was being this comment was being too masculine. And that's why the karmic having a girl, because she's too masculine or something like that. If this karmic is a female, it's like. They're narcissists collective. It's like this karmic like trying to kill herself because she found out she having a girl and she wanted a boy. Or this karmic is having like a panic attack. It's like this karmic is immature. They're selfish. They're a narcissist. And this karmic is like being ungrateful um, because they're having a girl and not a boy. It's like this karmic being too masculine. So it's like the universe gave the karmic a girl. Because you too masculine. Or something like that. What's the spill with the three of cups? Fake. Yeah, somebody was gossiping. Somebody was messing around with somebody. This karmic was being somebody's third party. Or the karmic was gossiping about somebody to their lover or something. Someone who isn't themselves to gain friends and popularity. They seem very nice to everyone, yet trash talks them behind their back in order to improve their social status. So, collective, the karmic could have been gossiping about you to your lover. Yeah, the karmic was being fake. It's like collective when the karmic was being fake, the karmic wasn't didn't apologize. The karmic wasn't sorry. Collective for some of y'all in the past, the karmic could have been the reason why you got a divorce. You got a divorce. Or the karmic was the reason why you was always depressed at work. Or you wasn't never successful at work or something. Or collective, that was what the karmic was planning to do to you this week. Cause y'all failure at work or um, cause you a divorce or something. But it's going to be a sour moment. Whew, I just had to run up some steps. What's the spill with the sour? Yeah, the first house. So somebody could definitely be an Aries. The karmic could have been trying to cause a tower moment for an Aries. Or the karmic is an Aries. One sense of identity, how they express themselves, their first impression they give off. Oh, 
smoking. So, collector, for some of y'all, you could be a Scorpio. And collective, the karmic, I don't know exactly who you are to the karmic. But collective, when the karmic first initially thought to offend you, the karmic gut feeling told the karmic, not you. Don't victimize you. But collective, the karmic did it anyway. And the karmic gonna regret it. So that's what I just heard. It's like collective, the karmic's first um, impression of you or the first impression you gave off to the karmic was that you caused tower moments. But the karmic was like, nah, man, whatever. The karmic was being fake. And collective, um, this week, the karmic going to be having an anxiety attack. So collective, you might cause the karmic a tower moment this week. And that was the karmic's first impression. I'm hearing the karmic dismissed it. If the karmic was married, it's like the karmic was like, man, whatever. You ain't going to never divorce me. Shh, that karmic going to get served this week. What's the spill with the six of cups? A heartbreaker. Yeah. All right. So the tables is turning as well. So the karmic might lose a lover. Collective, even if the karmic's lover is your lover. It's like collective, your lover is going to stop cheating on you with this karmic this week. Collective, your lover could have been in love with the karmic in the past. And your lover has fallen out of love with this karmic. So if the, if the karmic had control over a situation in the past, they don't have control this week. Or something. A person who can break hearts easily. Everyone wants them, but not everyone can have them. Yeah. What's the spill with the two of cups? Grown. Yeah. yeah. So the karmic was in a soulmate connection with somebody that was grown. And the karmic underestimated somebody. So collective, you could be the karmic soulmate. Collective, the karmic could be your bestie, your friend, your cousin, your lover. The karmic was in a soulmate with somebody that was grown. Collective, for some of y'all, the karmic could be like your friend or something. And she was messing around with your, your spouse or your lover. Or he was messing around with your spouse or your lover. Not with the childish games, has priorities straight, not willing to downgrade standards. Or collective, for some of y'all, the karmic is going to try to reach out to your, whoever you want a soulmate with. The karmic going is going to try to reach out to this person. Yeah. The karmic could have been being a heartbreaker to somebody in the past. But it's like collective. The karmic's heart is getting broke this week. What's the spill with the page of cups in reverse? Collective, if you marry, especially if you're married, collective, this karmic might have a stillborn if your husband got her pregnant or something. This karmic might have a stillborn or it's not the gender of the, is the child's gender is not what the karmic expected it to, to be. The 12th house. So this Pisces. Hidden true secrets, dreams, one has hidden strength and weaknesses, the unconscious and karma. So somebody um, getting an abortion or having a miscarriage or somebody being unapolo unapologetic, that could be somebody's karma. Or somebody's going to get karma for being in reverse in the past. <laughs> yeah. What's this spell with the sun in reverse? Or 
or if, like I said, if this karmic is a man and he want a, a, a boy child, he's going to get a girl. And that's this karmic's karma for being like a, 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 a narcissist. It's like the universe not going to get this karmic nothing they want or something like that. This karmic could also have a God complex. What's this deal with the sun in reverse? Legal issues, bad contract. Yeah. Yeah. So. The page of cups being a reverse and the sun in reverse could, could be a part of a karmic contract. Something is karmic. Something is meant to happen. Something is there to teach somebody a lesson. I heard a karmic contract. So somebody paying down karmic debt too. Yeah. So something is karma. The sun being in reverse. And the page of cups being in reverse is karma. Or somebody going to get karma for being in reverse. Something. What's this for with the King of Wands? A goofy. Can't be alone. Always has to partner up with someone. Tagging along just for the sake of it. Yeah. So, collective, for some of y'all, your lover or your spouse was being a groupie to this karmic. Or this karmic was being a groupie. If the karmic was a female, she was being a groupie. If the karmic is a man... He was like in love with this karmic. Yeah. And he mistreated like a divine feminine for this karmic. He was the groupie. Yeah. It's like collective your lover if he a man. It's like he left you to be with the karmic. But it's like he got nothing but legal issues and karma. Or he that's what's going to happen this week or something. What's the spell with the nine of wands? Meaning your match. Yeah. Yeah. Unable to compete or fight against you because you are just as good as them. So the karmic could be a player and got played by a player. Something like that going on too. Because <clears throat> somebody was a heartbreaker in the past. This karmic could have been trying to prove a point. And this karmic going to experience a child moment for being fake. It's like this karmic was trying to prove a point. Or something. What's the school with fate? What's the school with fate? You're hired. You got the job. Oh my God. This karmic was being fake to somebody. Well, collective, this karmic was jealous of you and being fake towards you because you got the job. So, collective, this karmic could be jealous of you because of your career or your job. Or well, this karma could be jealous of you because of your lover. You could be in a relationship. Or this karma likes your lover. Yeah, this karma was being fake because collective you got the job. Something. What's the school with the first house? Missing piece. You are missing a major piece of the puzzle. 
there. I'm hearing something told the karmic not to do something. And the karmic dismissed, like, their gut feeling, their intuition. So, it's like the karmic was missing a major piece of the puzzle. Hmm. It's like the karmic is experiencing this tower moment because they didn't listen to their first instinct, the first house. They was missing a major piece of the puzzle. That's why this tower moment here. And they was being fake. They was being jealous of somebody. They was trying to cause somebody a divorce or a breakup. I'm hearing the missing piece of the puzzle could also be the will of fortune. Divine timing. Cause and effect. That's what the karmic was missing or something like that. What's the scoop with heartbreaking? Yeah, gratitude. Show more gratitude. Yeah. A demon might break this karmic heart this week. This heartbreaker could also be somebody as, as a lover of money. This heartbreaker, to me, is somebody that's a lover of money. So, because somebody was a lover of money, they was trying to, like, conjure up demons or something. And somebody wasn't who they... Something wasn't what the karmic thought it was. The karmic could have been posing as a medium. Or this karmic conjured up, like, a succubus spirit and this demon gonna do something to this karmic this week this demon gonna cause the karmic a tower moment because this, this karmic could have been doing something for money only for money so something going on with ancestors Or it's like collective, your ancestors is going to get you karmic justice this week. So collective, if the karmic caused you heartbreak in the past, your ancestors got it. They know what the karmic did to you in the past. Yeah. What's the scoop with the grown? Catfish muse here. Ooh. Collective, this karmic could have cat, catfished you or your lover. Someone is not who they appear to be. You are inspirational to someone. Or collective, this karmic was posing as a medium. And something going to go wrong this week. I heard this karmic say, you want more? <laughs> So, it's like, I don't know if this karmic was, like, talking to, like, an entity, a demon or something. And the karmic was, like, intrigued because the demon actually responded to her or him. <laughs> <coughs> and then the karmic, it was like, you want more or something? I heard somebody say that. You want more? But it's like, this person wasn't, like, the karmic's uh, ancestor. It was, like, a demon or something. Yeah, some the karmic thought that they were inspiring someone. But this person was catfishing the karmic. Or collective, your lover did this to the karmic. Your lover was being a player or something like that. Or collective, you be careful because this karmic's trying to catfish you and tell you you inspire them. Or something like that. But it's like collective. The karma just want to come in between you and your soulmate connection. Or something like that. What's the school with meeting your match? Something significant about this holiday. So collective. What happened in the past on Halloween? Something happened in the past on Halloween.
Collective, if you were suspicious that your lover was cheating on you, they was. They could have met the karmic around Halloween. But it's like, Collective, your lover breaking ties with this karmic this week. Or Collective, your lover could have been trying to get away from this karmic since Halloween. And Collective, your lover might cause this karmic a sour moment. Or something like that for harassment or something like that. It's like this karmic wouldn't leave somebody alone or something. What's the school with the 12th house? Addictions. Yeah, someone could be facing an addiction. Liam. Collective, the karmic could have been creeping around with your lover. And it's like, collective, this karmic got addictions and your lover got addictions. And collective, your lover might tell this karmic, karmic, that little rendezvous we had, that was just for the moment. You get high, I get a high, you got addictions, you got it, I got addictions. I got a girl at home, I got a wife at home. Karmic. It's like, this karmic, like, you not even gonna say sorry, collective, you... Your lover going to say no. Or something like that. And then Thanksgiving flew out. This can also be a situation where it's like collective. Your lover could have told the karmic he was married. So it's like your, this. the karmic knew. It's like the karmic knew. And then she wanted an apology or something like that. What's the school with legal issues and bad contract? Yeah. So, collective, if the karmic was, was messing around with your lover, the karmic and their friends, it was, for some of y'all, it was just the karmic. For other you guys, it was the karmic and another friend. And for another group of you guys, it was like a whole bunch of them. So, collective, this karmic and they friends could have been gang stalking you. Or this karmic and they friends was like stealing money from your lover or using your lover for drugs or something. But it's like they always having sex together or something like that. Or something. <clears throat> or it's like, collective, your lover sleeping with this karmic. And the karmic and they friends was gang stalking you because of your lover. Your lover was messing around with this karmic. A situation needs more balance because something happened on Thanksgiving. Or somebody need to clarify something that happened on Thanksgiving. What's the school with Ruby? Uh, bound, for the bound to a current situation. Yeah. What's the school with meaning your match? Humor, laugh a bit. Collective, for some of y'all, your lover in like trouble a little bit. And collective, you might have to laugh at your lover or something. Because it's like your lover could be getting caught a little bit. It's like collective, your lover tried to cheat on you, but it's like this karmic caught like a fatal attraction or something. And it was hard for your lover to get rid of this karmic or something like that. Or something. Or collective, you might laugh about... 
Collective, say like you've been married to your lover for like five years. And collective, the way this karmic is acting, you would think your lover was messing around with her during your whole marriage. It's like collective, you gonna find out that your lover only been messing with this karmic since Halloween. And you like, girl, bye. Like, why you acting like that and you only knew my lover since Halloween? Something, this karmic, it's like this karmic um, is thinking that something is urgent, but it's like not or something. It's like this karmic trying to kill herself. It, it's, it's like collective, your lover, let me see, October, November, December, January, March, April, May, okay. Collective, you've been married to your lover for five years. This karmic been dating your lover or sleeping around with your lover for seven months. And collective, this karmic in the corner somewhere trying to kill yourself. Collective, you might say, girl, bye. Or something like that. Yeah, so something like that going on. So it's like collective on Halloween. It's like collective, yo, I don't know. For some of y'all, your lover really wasn't interested in this karmic. Or this karmic just be harassing your lover. Maybe they never even had sex. Or maybe they had sex like one time. But it's like collective, your lover is... <clears throat> I heard somebody be uncomfortable. And then it's like on Thanksgiving. I don't know. Like something. It's like collective. Your lover feel bound. Like for being a groupie. Or something like that. <laughs> That's not funny. What I just heard. But it made me laugh. <laughs> That's not funny. I'm not even going to say that. That's not nice. <laughs> but collective, your lover might tell you something. That it's like you could be mad or something, but it's like collective, you're going to be cracking up about something. About this karmic. <laughs> or something. Or well, this karmic don't like to lose or something like that. <laughs> but I'm going to end it because I got stuff I got to do. So this is Blood Queen Tarot. Something like that going on with this crazy karmic. So this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. That's how dramatic the karmic being. I don't know if y'all probably heard it, but um, my son outside screaming like his like his lungs to the top of his lungs like so it's like the karmic probably be, it's like do, being extra like that acting up or something like that so this is blood queen tarot please don't forget to like comment subscribe and or share and collective enjoy the weekend thanks